Okay, so this is uh, question number 30 on the spring run. So we have unfair coin that has a probability of P landing has a, okay. So P is um, heads up, right? And where the P is in between zero to one, which is okay. And if this is P, then one minus P should be tail, right? So just keep that in mind. And tail and coin uh, toss seven times and the probability of the coin lands up, uh, lands heads up exactly twice is equal to getting a uh, heads up exactly three times. Based on that, what is P? Okay. So the question basically says, we want to toss seven times, right? And of those seven times, we want to get exactly two heads or exactly three heads. And then both ways, we will get the same uh, number, okay, as a probability. So let me actually go ahead and like show one of those examples. Let's say we have head, head in the first row, and then you will get tail, tail, tail. I have four and five. So get it exactly twice, okay? It means you have two heads and five tails. And if you are gonna get exactly three times as head, so that is basically these three heads, and then you will get tail, tail, and four tails. But it doesn't have to be this order. So I just said the first is head and the other is tail, but it could be other way around. Like I can have tail, tail, head, tail, tail, head, and tail, whatever. So I need to know how many ways can I actually arrange these um, H and Ts, and that was something I will consider as well. But if I take this guy itself, the getting a head on the first one is P, and getting head in the second one is also P, which is I have two Ps, so that needs to be P to the second power. So that will be P squared. And then I have five Ts, which is one minus P times one minus P, which is one minus P to the fifth power. And this is my first part, okay, this is, the, the first two is head and the last five is uh, tails. And if I do the same thing with this guy, so we'll get P to the third power and one minus P to the fourth power. And these are gonna be equal, but I need to be careful. As I said uh, at the beginning, when I just try this one example, but this is not the only way. I, I, do, I do get the two heads and five tails a lot of different ways. And the same idea, three has and four tails, a lot of different ways. I need to count those number of ways that I can rearrange those H and Ts, which is basically number of ways to arrange those, uh, the same letters like Hs and same as of Ts. If they were all different, so we could say, we could make a seven factorial different arrangement if they are all different, right? right? That is going to be seven factorial but they are not equal. So we have same T's and H's. So I need to fix that over counting by dividing by the number of ways that I can arrange those, which is seven factorial divided by two factors times five. Two factors comes from the number of ways that you can arrange two H's. When they were different, then there will be two factorial ways. But since we have two H are the same, so that's not gonna be two different uh, arrangements. We will just, just get one arrangement. So I need to divide by two factorial and same thing with this guy. So that should be seven factorial over uh, three factorial times four factorial. And all I need to solve this equation. So, but it's kind of easier to solve as well. So I can cancel this, right? I can cancel uh, four factorial by five. So you'll get just five left over. And then this guy and this guy will cancel. That should be just three. And I have P cubed, I have P squared. So one of those P's will be left over, so we get P squared will cancel. And then I have one minus P to the four, and then P to the five, so that should be one minus P. So now if I do this, on the left side, I have one fifth times one minus P is equal to one third times P, right? Let me see, yeah, it looks that. So let's multiply by 15. So we get rid of these uh, fractions. So that will be three times this guy, which is three minus three P. If I multiply this by 15, you got five P. If you add three uh, P to both sides, you have eight P is equal to three. So P has to be 
three over a. And that is my answer. Okay. So again, if you have no experience with uh, combinations with the problem here, I think this question is something uh, you shouldn't look at, to be honest. But you can take, take a look at the combinations and probably separately and combine those and like uh, on these cases, okay?